search and rescue teams in Florida are due to swing into action as daylight reveals the extent of damage wreaked by Hurricane Irma. The huge storm weakened as it moved up the state's western coast overnight but Miami and other urban areas have been battered and inundated. In the islands of the Florida Keys, the local emergency manager has warned of looming humanitarian crisis. Media reports link at least four deaths to the storm. Irma, which hit Florida as a Category 4 hurricane on Sunday, has now weakened to a tropical storm. It cut a devastating track across 10 Caribbean countries and territories, killing at least 28 people there. Miami dodged a bullet by and large. The eye of the storm did not hit the city but it did wallop the Florida Keys, of course, and that is where the concern is now. Communications were pretty bad even on Friday. A number of people who had fled the Keys and checked into our hotel were struggling to keep in touch with relatives who had decided to stay behind. Reports say that 10,000 people decided to ride out the storm. We do not know what state they are in now. The first job rescue services will have to do is to test the integrity of the 42 bridges linking the Keys. If one of those is down, it could cause problems because it could strand any one of the islands. The entire keys are closed. There is no way of getting in there at the moment while the authorities assess the damage. More than 3.4 million homes in Florida are without power. Power lines came down in 80% of Miami alone and large areas of the city were flooded, although the city appears to have escaped lightly compared to other parts. Drone footage from Naples a town on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico about 125 miles 200 kilometers, to the northwest, shows rows of shattered suburban homes on streets underwater. President Donald Trump has approved a major disaster declaration and emergency federal aid for Florida, describing the hurricane as a big monster. Funds will be needed to care for victims, clean up debris, restore power, and repair damage to homes and businesses. Martin Centerfit, Emergency Management Director for Monroe County, population 73,000, said a huge airborne relief mission mounted by the Air Force and Air National Guard was in the works, the Miami Herald reports. Disaster mortuary teams, he said on Sunday afternoon, would be dispatched to the Keys, which are part of Monroe. Florida Director of Emergency Management Brian Kuhn told reporters the actual physical and human damage could not be ascertained before operations began. We will work on those at first light, 7.05 local time, 11.05 GMT, he said. I don't have any numbers on fatalities at this point. Florida Governor Rick Scott continued to tweet storm warnings early on Monday. As little as six inches, 15 centimeters of moving water can knock you down, he said in one message. Stay inside. Stay safe. At 9 o'clock GMT, the center of the hurricane was about 60 miles, 100 kilometers, north of Tampa, the National Hurricane Center, NHC, said. Some 3 million people live in the Tampa Bay area. The region has not been hit by a major hurricane since 1921. Irma is expected to weaken into a tropical storm over far northern Florida or southern Georgia later on Monday but first its center will continue to move over the western Florida peninsula, the NHC said. Storm surge warnings are in effect for, Irma made landfall on Marco Island off Florida's west coast at 15.35 local time, 19.35 GMT, on Sunday. With winds of up to 120 miles per hour we feel the building swaying all the time, restaurant owner Demi Lomas told Reuters news agency by phone from his 35th floor apartment in Miami, it's like being on a ship. At least four deaths have been connected to the storm, some 6.3 million people in the state were told to evacuate before Irma arrived. There is major disruption to transport, with Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and Miami International Airport closed for Monday. Amid fears of debris and reports of looting, curfews have been imposed in areas such as Miami-Dade County. Irma is the most powerful Atlantic storm in a decade, 
and has already caused widespread destruction on several Caribbean islands, another hurricane, Hosea, has been weakening over the western Atlantic, with swells due to affect parts of Hispaniola, the island split into Haiti and the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands, over the next couple of days. Are you in the region? Are you a holiday maker unable to get a flight home or a resident who has been preparing for Hurricane Irma? If it is safe for you to do so, share your experiences by emailing haveyoursay at bbc.co.uk. Please include a contact number if you are willing to speak to a BBC journalist. You can also contact us in the following ways.